Hello friends, how are you today? I want to share with you this awesome recipe for a cream that we can call it a night cream uh, but I use it also during the day and after shower I put it on my whole body I put it on my hair and it's like rejuvenating it's uh, refreshing it tightens the skin it volumizes the skin and it protects it so it's a super good recipe it's an improved recipe from my previous aloe vera recipe and I hope you like it and please subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and let's do the recipe so first thing we're gonna collect a leaf from an aloe vera plant This is a freshly cut leaf. This leaf will leak this yellow substance that is called aloin. We want to remove it because it's irritating and um, on its own it's toxic. When it's combined with the aloe plant it's not toxic but it's irritating to the skin. So we're gonna remove this substance by putting it in a bowl of warm water so it will drain and I'm gonna cut it a little bit more so all of this will drain we can see that the water is turning yellow and we can speed up this process by cutting off the edges We can see how the water is turning yellow and we can speed up this process by removing the edges from the leaves. See how the water is yellow? That's this aloin draining from the leaves. So uh, I'm gonna be soaking the aloe for 10 minutes and while it's soaking I'm gonna measure one cup of coconut oil and put it in a glass container, any container, and I'm gonna whisk it. If your coconut oil is like liquid, put it in the refrigerator so it has this consistency because you need to have this consistency to whip it and you want to reach like consistency of a whipping cream. of uh, emulsifying wax. Those are little granules. One teaspoon of xanthan And then three uh, vitamin D capsules. Xanthan gum dissolves better in fat so you are better off putting it into the coconut oil rather than aloe vera. And the capsules we're just gonna cut and squeeze it out. Now I'm gonna just mix it together. So this is nicely mixed. I'm gonna put it aside for now and now I'm gonna move on to the uh, aloe vera leaf. The water is pretty yellow by now. yellow the water is 
So that's that analyte that we removed from it. Now let's separate the green skin from the aloe vera leaf from the gel and we're gonna use just the gel. We're just gonna use this portion, the gel. We're gonna put the gel in the mixer. It's really easy to separate it, it's not that difficult. It's really nice, beautiful gel. So now I separated the gel from the green skin, placed it in the blender and I'm gonna blend it for a minute or so. Just make sure it doesn't get too hot because you don't want to warm up the aloe vera gel because that's when it loses it, a lot of it, its good properties. It's becoming like really liquidy, like that, and that's good. Now at this point I'm gonna add a few more things. I'm gonna get, add fulvic acid. I'm gonna add magnesium with uh, minerals. It has some other minerals in it. like uh, two squirts of the fulvic acid. The fulvic acid is really good on the skin and the magnesium with the minerals. Fulvic acid actually is like a transport. It moves the good stuff into the cells. We're gonna also add one teaspoon of vitamin C like a powder and a quarter of a teaspoon of citric acid it's a powder also now I'm gonna blend it a little bit so it mixes together very liquidy as you can see now is the time that we're gonna add the coconut oil coconut oil is pretty thick So now we have the two aloe and coconut oil together and let's mix it up. And now the last step, I want to add some essential oils and you don't have to add them. Um, just a drop or two, you know. 
I want to add frankincense, geranium, cucumber seed, rose, cedar wood, rosemary, and lavender. And just like a couple of drops of each. It doesn't have to be a lot. So once the essential oils are added, I'm just gonna mix it one more time. And that's it. So that's the whole recipe. I keep this cream in the refrigerator. It lasts uh, for at least two or three weeks. Uh, you can keep it out for a day or two, but uh, it's better to keep it in the refrigerator. And look at the consistency of this cream. It's so wonderful and just feels so good when you apply it on your skin. It's just so light. I just love it. So please like this uh, video and subscribe to my channel and come back for more. Thank you and have a blessed day.